Mort, how long have you been on the floor? Um, approximately 24 hours, but who's counting? Perhaps it's 25. Mort. Brent, Brent, listen, I don't mean to be over dramatic here, um, which I think is a word that's often misused for just having emotions and expressing them. But listen, I just, I don't think I've ever failed so hard, you know, like other than my normal failure and just existing on this planet. But I, I had a, a small amount of hope and it was just ripped away from me callously. Sometimes you put yourself out there and it doesn't work out the way that you want it to, but that doesn't mean that you can't put yourself out there again, Mort. Okay, fine. Let's get Doctor Who about it or Sherlock Holmes about it and just figure out, you know, what's, what's, ha what's happening. We're gonna talk about how crazy these parties are. You'll never believe what I found out about them. Hey, did you get an invite to the glorious party that's happening? You know I don't like to gossip. People just tell me things. But I heard there's an entrance exam to get in, but the entrance exam is how much dirt do you have on other people. You're supposed to fail? Well, it's they call you college nerd until you graduate. I think they have a proctor for the exam. And I think it's Madison's mom's boyfriend because he works at Kaplan Test Prep Center. Yes, that guy with a goatee. Honestly, it's embarrassing. Honestly, that's so like Madison. In third grade, in Girl Scouts, all of us had to throw away our marshmallows because she said they had horses in them. So we couldn't have s'mores at a bonfire. They do something called a dry t-shirt contest, which is just like a wet t-shirt contest, except with Canada dry. But you only get invited if you don't believe in COVID. You can't even bring a plus one to the party, which sucks because I couldn't bring any Dirty Dave and the fellas. You know, Brady Batman Bates. Mort's probably going to get invited next. And honestly, even if I wanted to go, like he can't bring a plus one. And even if he could, like, I don't know, we haven't even talked in like a week. Uh, Nick Bell, AKA Brian Scalabrini. So I don't even know if we're still friends. King Los, uh, Hosco Dash, uh, Cheddarburg. There's a bowl for inhalers right when you first walk in, and you're supposed to take your inhaler and put it in the bowl. And then at some point during the night when a bell rings, you go to the bowl, you pick someone's inhaler, and whoever's you pick, you make out with. Oh my God, no way, seriously? <sighs> Heather is so in love with Joseph, the quarterback, duh. He needs an EpiPen and an inhaler just to make it through first period. It's normal for there to be parties that I'm not invited to, but when I found out that they had adult supervisors at these parties, I mean... The theater parties are never supervised by adults. The chorus parties, the band parties, we never have adults. I'm not self-appointed Valley Hill High's most responsible high school student for three years in a row for nothing. The liquor cabinet is guarded by their super strong five-year-old niece. That should be me. I should be supervising those parties. Who's gonna be at this party anyway? Bunch of lamos. Listen, you didn't hear this from me. Did I hear any of this in the hallways? You're gonna owe me hot Cheetos for a month. I mean, honestly, <sighs> ginger ale is a delicious beverage. Also, I just think like having EpiPens and inhalers is just incredibly responsible, don't you? Also, I think entrance exams are great. Like I, it will prep you for actually like getting into law school or medical school and why not start early? What would a party entrance exam even look like? Like Brenton can sit next to Mort, but Mort can't sit next to Heather and Heather has to sit two seats away from Madison. What order are they in? If we had entrance exams or parties, you and Heather would literally be the only people who could actually attend them because we're the only people who are probably smart enough to know who's sitting next to who. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst party in the world, but yeah, it's debatable. Anyway, I, I don't really see, other than the, the super spreader thing, I feel like all these parties are pretty just standard of having things for people and making it extremely accessible, but that's, you know, who am I to talk? I'm not president. Can I, can I make like a suggestion just as like one, one bro to another bro? Certainly. Okay. Just like don't talk about the parties anymore because literally everything you say makes it sound like you've definitely not only been to them, but that you endorse them and would totally throw one. Okay. All right. All right. I can co-sign that. Um, anyway, let's, uh, suspect list. 
suspect list. Could be a touchy subject, um, but I feel as though your ex paramour interest is doing quite well on social media and has a significant following. And not that I follow her because that might be against bro code, but I do notice she was at one of these parties. She was at one of the parties? She blocked um, me from all of her social media, so I didn't. I didn't she, know that. she mentioned that on an Instagram live of how to dump dead beats out of your life. So it was, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Dope, 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 dope. We should get back to that. So wanna... Maddie, Maddie's on the list. That's one suspect. It's my therapy fern, and I just hold it when I get stressed out. I'm gonna hold one with you. Well, the only other nerd that I know in my life who would be on par in any capacity if there was something like this is 100% Heather. Um, I don't think, I, I feel like Heather has no business being on this suspects list at all. I think that just seems like a crazy thing to do. With it can't just be Maddie. I know she went to one of the parties fine, but like, it can't just be her. We have to have at least two suspects that we're looking at. So I think we should just add Heather and just be safe. Fine. All right, fine, fine. Um, okay, well, I'm, you know what? You, you've moved me from being horizontal to, to semi-vertical. So I have to give you kudos to that. I appreciate that. Oh, man, listen, I'm really good at taking people from being horizontal to them suddenly being vertical because they're like not into whatever is happening. So Madison mentioned that in a tell off, but um, that's great. You and I are officially like in this to win this, dude. We're officially in it to win it. Thank you, Brent.